This is my 2007 Polaris Outlaw 525 IRS. Figured I would just do start up, walk around video, talk about a little bit. These machines aren't all that super common. There's a couple things that make them pretty unique. Um, specifically, the independent rear suspension in the back here. I really haven't had any problems with this setup. Uh, it actually does really well on the trails. It gives you quite a bit of extra ground clearance in comparison to a lot of the straight axle sport quads, I would definitely say. Uh, one thing to watch out for is uh, the bearings in this hub assembly here tend to go bad. I think they actually wear out grooves possibly in the hub assembly and the whole back end will kind of make a, a clicking noise. So that's the case with this one, but I've just been running it like that really with no problems whatsoever. So, but otherwise, I definitely love the independent rear suspension. I mean, the thing rides super smooth on the trails. Almost as good as my Sportsman, I would say. So, that's that. The other thing that kind of makes this one unique, obviously, uh, these have the uh, KTM 525 RFS motor in them. Uh, no complaints, really, about the motor. I mean, plenty of power plenty of torque um, the only thing I would say is sometimes it's hard to find neutral um, I guess really once it warms up it's really hard to find neutral so I know that's a common problem that I've read um, other than that nothing too bad changing the oil is kind of a pain it's actually got uh, two oil filters one here uh, one there those are pretty cheap and easy to do and it's got an oil screen actually right down here and it's got another oil screen like right up on the bottom and I think it's common it happened with me the oil screen on the bottom the bolt actually got stuck up in there and actually cracked so I was actually pretty lucky I actually ended up getting that out with an impact um, but it came right out after well I shouldn't say it came right out with some forcing it came out so that's just something to watch for other than that um, not really too much to say overall good machine just definitely a rear combination so I'll start it up free here make sure it's in neutral pretty much you got your basic indicators here uh, your, have our overheating light, oil light, park, well, we don't have park, reverse and neutral. Electric start, this should start right up here. So other thing I want to mention too is uh, actually putting this thing in the reverse is a little weird. You have to be in first gear and then actually push this lever forward and then uh, you shift down again and then I'll actually go in reverse and you'll see the indicator light on the dash there. So other than that, good machine, not much else to say about it. So there you have it.